quick tutorial if you have one of these Jinhao 126s. They're a cheap pen, a cheap, cheap little fountain pen. Um, they're kind of scratchy. It's probably not worth buying one, but if you have one and you want to work on it, um, I haven't seen a tutorial about these, but they have a very fine nib on them. It's a hooded nib. And, um, you can see, they are iridium. And they unscrew right here, and your ink goes in. But how to take them apart, how to get that nib out. On most pens, you have that black plastic, and then the nib on it, and you want to pull it out. And I, so, you know, people will try. You don't want to push on it or anything. So what you do very carefully, take a pair of these, very carefully with a pair of these pliers like this, and uh, pull on the nib itself. And it will pop out. There's no video I've seen on this, on this particular model. And uh, here's your nib. It is a... Uh, Fine little nib. Let's see where it clicks into place, apparently, like right there. So, inside, these are cheaply made. <laughs> um, you will find that these pens tend to gather a lot of the ink and dry, become scratchy. You're better off with like a size six or size 5 nib that is in a fine point like this. I think in the 1950s and 40s they started making these hooded nibs and um, really none of them work well because of the fact that the ink in the reservoir because it's a smaller nib doesn't carry the ink as well as like a size 5 or 6 nib but if this is your thing, you know, I have two of them. I got them relatively cheap, I think 2 or $3. They're fun pens. Um, I imagine if you, because these are a Jinhao nib, they're not really that great of a nib. Uh, they will write, but they will skip a lot. If you could get a, like a JWoww or a um, Goulet nib equivalency, you could replace it and it'd probably work fine. But at that point you're up you're putting twenty dollars into a nib. You might be able to take what Goulet has as a brass like it's a little piece of brass metal you can take between the tines on this and polish it. You might get better ink flow. Um, I haven't yet figured out how to get the black insides of the guts of this out, but you could probably take a exacto knife and carefully try to widen the ink channel on that. But you're still going to be at the, the physics of the pen. But the ink flow is very much dependent on how well it goes from here between these two sections to the nib. So there you go. And when you put it back in, it'll slide in. You'll feel it pop back into that little section there. You can see that little groove right there fits into.